What really fascinates me when we get sick, whether we're infected by a virus or a bacteria, um, what is it in our body that actually helps us fight off this infection? That's currently what I'm looking at in the context of viruses like Zika and Dengue. And that will hopefully be very relevant for the local population. For the Dengue virus, what's uh, interesting is that after your first infection, if you get infected by a, s a second time, it actually makes your infection more prone to being a severe infection. And so I was curious in this because being able to unravel how this works can actually help in the future to kind of develop either therapeutics or interventions that can then stop this secondary infection from being more severe for patients. What really drew me to Duke NUS is that uh, when I looked at the research that was being done here, everything seemed very cohesive. That allows you to not be restricted to your own field of interest and really expand into more of the broader scopes. So for example, if I was more interested in how the Zika virus infects the brain, I can always approach uh, neurology experts in the neural department if I wanted to learn more about the lipid composition of these viruses, I can also approach the cardiovascular department. The integrated uh, biology and medicine program, uh, its strength is really the, the integrated part of the program. Sometimes we get too focused in on our own projects, and really when someone else gives their own perspective, that sheds new light on what we have found, and that gives us new direction to pursue in the future for our projects. Prof Oi has, has been a great mentor. Uh, he's constantly pushing students to focus more on the big picture and not get too trapped in the tiny details of our research. And so thinking about the big picture constantly makes us think about what our research can lead to in terms of public health or the population in general. What I'd like to achieve in my research is to produce work that will pave the road for others to go further and deeper into the research topic that I'm working on. And really, there's no better way of knowing that you have contributed to the scientific community than doing this.